Welcome to another class of an organic compound. Now this today we'll be looking at hybridization. Now what is hybridization? Don't forget, carbon is the major element of an organic compound. And since carbon is the major element of an organic compound, let us consider the electronic configuration of carbon in two states. Don't forget the atomic number of carbon is 6 and the atomic mass is 12. Let's consider the atomic number, at the electronic configuration of carbon in its ground state. And that is 1s3, 2s2, 2p2. And let us consider the electronic configuration of carbon in its excited state. The electronic configuration of carbon in its excited state is 1s2, 2s1, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. Now, we are going to use the electronic configuration of carbon in its excited state to explain the term called hybridization. And look at this. Now, the hybridization is the mixing or blending of the 2s orbital here with the 2p orbitals. Again, hybridization is the mixing or blending of the 2s orbital here with the 2p orbitals here. Someone will ask me, why is this 1s not participating in the mixing and the blending? The reason is because this one is already filled. Don't forget the s orbital contains two electrons and it's already filled, it's already occupied. This one needs one, 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 one. And that is why carbon is tetrahedrally bonded. And that is why the carbon has the ability to attach with four different bonds or with four different atoms. And that is why you can see, if you put another atom here, it will make this orbit to what? To be completed. And this one, if you attach one, 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 don't forget, the p orbitals has the accumulation of what? Of six electrons. And that's why the p here is six. And this one only contains what? One attached to it to make it to be what? To be completed. And when you check very well, and that is why we call or we define hybridization as a mixing or blending of the two S orbital here with the two P orbitals that are here. Now, we now have types of hybrids. The first one says we have the sp3 hybridization, we have the sp2 hybridization, and we have the sp hybridization. Now, the sp3 hybridization, sp2 hybridization, and the sp hybridization. Let me explain this before I will not go into each of these one after the other. The sp3 hybridization is a mixing or blending of a single s orbital with three of the two p orbitals. Now, as, as you can see, we have a single two s here, so that means the sp3 hybridization is a mixing or blending of these two s orbital with two p orbitals. That's sp3, and sp2 hybridization is a mixing or blending of a single two s orbital with two two of the two p orbitals two of the two p orbitals and sp hybridization is a mixing or blending of a single two s orbital with a single two p orbital that is out of these two p it's only we add to two with one and that is why so this one is a single s and what and this one is what is three p so let me go into this and explain fully now let me differentiate between the sp3 hybridization sp2 hybridization and the xp hybridization now let us see the difference we have the sp3 hybridization we have the sp2 hybridization and we have the sp hybridization don't forget as the name implies i told you this one is a mixing or blending of one two s orbital with three two p orbitals with three two p what orbitals is a mixing or blending of two s orbital a single two s orbital with three two p orbitals this one is a mixing or blending of one two s orbital with two with two two p orbitals and this one is a mixing or blending of one two s orbital with one two p orbital with one two p orbital now let us see now the example of sp3 hybridization Example of sp3 hybrid is found is majorly seen in arcane family can be seen in arcane family 
An example of an SP2 hybridization can majorly be seen in Akin family. An example of the SP hybridization can majorly be seen in Akin family. And as you can see, the example of an Akin family is what? Is methane. So you see, the example is methane. And don't forget, we have it to be CH4. And we have the example, the first member of Akin to be what? To be 18. The first member of Akin to be 18. And the, the molecular formula for 18 is C2 H4. And the first member of Akin here is ethyl. This is ethyl. And it, is, it has a, the molecular formula to be C2. That would be 2 times 2. That's 4 minus 2. That's what? H2. And many will be so curious about that because I'm just bringing them often. Then don't forget that we have the general formula for this. The sp3 hybrid, which is arcane, don't forget it has the general formula to be CnH2n plus 2. And arcane has the general formula to be CnH2n. And arcane has the general formula to be CnH2n minus 2. And don't forget, the reason why I have the first member of this sp3 to be met don't forget according to the monogamous series we have number one to be met number two is x and the reason why the first member of this one is methane is because the n is greater than or equals to one that means it starts from number one this one the n is greater than or equals to two this one the n is greater than or equals to two so this one does not have anything like methane it does not have anything like methane so it does not start from that this one starts from ethane, and this one starts from what? From ethane. So the first member of Akin family is ethane. The first member of Akin family is ethane. And the reason is because the sp3 hybridization here, which is Akin, is known as saturated hydrocarbon. And the two here, they are unsaturated hydrocarbon. Now, why do we call them saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon? These ones are unsaturated hydrocarbon. Now the reason why they are unsaturated hydrocarbon is because if you check their structure, this one is single bond, this one is double bond, and this one is what? It's triple bond. So they are not saturated. And the only saturated one we have is what? Is akin because it's single bond. It does not have anywhere to what? To attach with more carbons or with more, sorry, with more atoms. With more atoms. But others still have space for them to what? To attach with what? With more atoms. And that is why, most especially, substitution reaction occur under arcane. Because arcane is filled, it is saturated. does not have where to accommodate other atoms. So that is why arcane majorly undergo substitution reaction. So it will definitely substitute any of, it, of its hydrogen atom for other atoms that it wants to attach with. But others can undergo additional reaction because they see have what more space to accommodate many atoms and that's the difference between the saturated hydrocarbons which are akin and the unsaturated hydrocarbons which are akin and akin and that is why they are double bond and triple bond and let us see more characteristics of this sp3 sp2 and sp and as a matter of fact the sp3 hybridization contain only one sigma bond it contain only one sigma bond and the structure is like this. And if you check very well, that shows that the sp3 hybridization, which is akin, does not contain pi bonds. But sp2 hybridization contains one sigma bond and one pi bond. It contains one sigma bond and one pi bond. So this is the structure of the sigma bond. So, but if you are talking about the sp hybridization, it contains one sigma bond and what? And two pi bonds. One sigma bond and two pi bond. And that's the difference between the sp3, sp2, and what? And sp. Now, aside from this, if you check the structure of the, the methane, if you check the structure of methane, now they have the bond angle. And the bond angle of methane, which is sp3, will have it to be 109.4 degree, 28 minutes. 109.4 degree 28 minutes or we have it to be 109 degree and if we check the arcane which is sp2 we have the first member to be 18 if we check the structure we have it like this you have the 18 so don't forget it will have the presence of the what of the double bond 
and this one has the bond angle of what? Of 120 degree. And look at the Akain family. The first member is what? Is a time. Let's see the structure. This one you can see it's straight chain or a straight bond, the straight angle. And the straight angle is what? Is 180 degree. So therefore, the bond angle of the SP3 hybridization, which is Akain, is 109.4 degree 28 minutes, or you have it to be 109 degree. We have the SP2 to be 120 degree, and we have the SP to be what? To be 180 degree as the bond angle. We have what you known as the bond length. The bond length of SP3 is 1.54 angstrom, or we have it to be 0.154 nanometer. You just have to multiply 0.1 with the angstrom in order for you to have it in what? In nanometer. Then the bond length of the sp2 hybridization is 1.34 angstrom or we have it to be 0.134 nanometer and the bond length for the sp is 1.21 angstrom or you have it to be 0.121 nanometer and as you can see this is the bond length and some some will ask me what's the spelling of the angstrom don't forget to have this to be the angstrom here is it has a symbol of a but it has a, just a circle at the top. So we have it to be A, A, then you have G, S, T, R, O, M. That's the Astrum. The Astrum. We have the bond energy as well. The bond energy for the SP3 hybridization is 346. Don't forget the bond energy is in kilojoule per what? Per mole. Kilojoule per mole. We have this to be 346. And we have this to be 598 kilojoule per what? Per mole. And we have the one of the SP to be 813 kilojoule per watt per mole. And this is the difference between the SP3, SP2, and the what? And the SP hybridization. Now we have more characteristics between this, but when they are talking about the SP3 hybridization, don't forget they are talking about what? The Akane family. When they are talking about the SP2 hybridization, they are talking about what? The Akane. And when they talk, when they talk about the SP3 hybridization, SP rather, they, they are talking about what? Akai. And don't forget that since we have the arcane to have the general formula to be what? Cn H2N plus 2. What if there is a remover of just a single bond? Uh, sorry, what, what if there is a remover of just a single hydrogen atom from this structure? If you remove one hydrogen atom from this formula, the formula will become Cn H2N plus 1. If you remove just a single hydrogen atom from this general formula, it will give you this. And this one is called the general formula for AQ. And that will represent it as R. AQ family. So that's why AQ also it is a derivative of arcane. And that's why AQ is an attachment. You can see that when you're talking about methyl, ethyl, propyl, you attach them with the main compound. And that's why they are they are what? The attachment. The attachment, they cannot stand on their own. The methyl now is CH3. So the attachment, they have a valence carbon, a, a vacant bonding that they are going to use to bond with what? With other compound. So now, when you see this, so therefore, if you now remove the same, so therefore this one is remover of what? Of one hydrogen from the general formula for what? For akin. If you remove one hydrogen from akin family, from akin, it will give you CN, H2N minus one. And this one can give you the Akenel. Akenel, this one as well, it is, a, is an attachment as well. No, we can leave this one for now. Now, coming back, what if I remove two hydrogen from this general formula for Akane? To give you CN, that is removal of two hydrogen, to give you CN, H2N. But if you check this very well, it has the same formula with what? With Akane. But the name is different because this one we see process a single bond. And that's why we call this cyclo -Akane. Cyclo again, then the same thing if you remove one, two hydrogen from what from the Akin family, then to give you CN H2N the minus two. Then we remove this one, we also give you the cyclo again. Cyclo again, though we don't have this, let us leave this. Now, these are the differences I can give you for now. So, in the next class, when we talk about some other features, we talk about the differences between the sp3, sp2, and sp hybridization. And more of this is this. If you let me just differentiate between the cyclo akin and the akin. Now, imagine, don't forget, I told you the cyclo akin, 
and arcane, they have the same general formula. Don't forget the cycloarcane, cycloarcane, and arcane, they have the same general formula, which is CnH2n. Now imagine you have C4H8. C4H8 on the nouns will be like this. If it has the presence of the double bond like this, if it has the presence of the double bond, then we call this butene. We call this butene. But if you don't have it in the form of the cyclo okay, because this one is amine carbon, carb, four carbon, and the hydrogen is also what? It's still eight hydrogen. And don't forget that each carbon must not have more than four bonds. And that's why, because this one has two bonds there, that's why it is one, two, three, four. So, and this one has a one, two, three, four. So, this one is one, two, three, four. So, each carbon must not have more than four bonds, and it must not have less than what? Four bonds. That's why the bonding is tetraedral. Then, if you are talking about the cyclo, if you have something like this, then see this. Each carbon must not have more than four bonds. More than four bonds. More than four bonds. More than four bonds. Bond. Now, you see, this is C4H8 as well. But the name of this, you cannot see the presence of double bond here. So it's still not, it is not an arcane family, it is arcane family. But we now call this cyclobutane. Cyclobutane. Now this is the difference between the cycloarcane and arcane. And you can also do well for the cycloarcane and at the same time for what? For arcane. Because the cycloarcane has the same general formula with what? With arcane. And cycloarcane has general formula, the same general formula with what? With arcane. So now, let me give you some organic reactions. And this is where I'm going to start in the next class for the organic compound. Now, some organic reactions, we have many organic reactions, but I'm just going to list some, then you can go and work on it. The first one, we have the substitution reaction. We have the addition reaction. We have the oxidation. We have reduction. The reduction reaction. We have the polymerization, we have the esterification, we have the saponification, we have carboxylation, then we also have decarboxylation, we have decarboxylation, we have hydrogenation, we have halogenation now as you have hydrogenation we have dehydrogenation that is removal of what of hydrogen as you have halogenation we also have dehalogenation then we have hydrohalogenation hydrohalogenation I will also have the hydrohalogenation. And many more. In the next class, I'm going to explain the organic reaction. So before that, prepare this and let us see. Let us get in touch with the organic reaction. With the organic reaction, you are going to go with many of the organic compounds. With this, I believe I've given you something for today. God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for today. God bless you.